five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Venice, California. My name is Willie Wonka, and this is Charlie Chisholm, and this is the fucking chocolate factory. That ain't calling it Wonderland. So today, uh, the weather is uh, on the low side, but our spirit's on the fucking high side. You're gonna hear me say fuck a lot because fuck just feels exhilarating. It feels like a uh, breath of fresh air, like right now, I'm breathing a breath of fresh air. See, the rain supplies the air, and the air supplies life, and the sun supplies everything. And one thing I have to tell you, which is a gem I'm about to drop, is that they tell you not to stare into the sun. Look into it with both eyes and look and stare. And when you see it, look into the eye of the eye of the eye of the sun, oh, the eye of the sun, you're gonna see an eye within the eye within the eye within the eye within the eye. It's like seven different eyes. Anyway, that might be a little bit too deep for Anyway, the point is this. It feels great out here today, so I'm gonna really, I'm just gonna talk earth, right? Because if I talk too much, I'm a higher echelon type talk, I'm gonna expose myself, but I don't wanna do that. So, you're gonna say, hey man, listen, Venice is a place where great things happen. Good people are here. Um, a lot of talent is here on Venice. Uh, I'm not sure if you're a Venice native or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is, the guy that's uh, doing this direct, this great job of directing this great video. By the way, make sure you check out his, his YouTube. Um, it's very, it's very uh, poetic. Notice, I didn't say good, I said poetic, because poetry is an expression. And what he's doing is visually, you know, poetic-sizing. <laughs> What we're going on, what we're doing right now, and we're actually exchanging energy, we're exchanging vibes, we're exchanging vibrations. See, you just heard that bell, that bell meant to continue talking. That bell means we're on a motherfucking roll right now. Boom. So, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna get my motherfucking roll on. What? Get my motherfucking roll on. Get my motherfucking motherfucking roll on. Matter of fact, I think you're the guy who recorded my fifth friend. Her name is, let me think about it. Uh, what is her fucking name? Uh, man, it's coming to me. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. Hold on. Hold on. She's a guitar player. She used to sit out here. I'm just a subscriber. Maybe you'll come up to one thing and come out of that She's a guitar player. She used to sit out here and uh, play the guitar. She's very, very great. I haven't seen her like this in maybe a couple years now. Uh, she's awesome. Um, she stands about 5'2". She's very... Uh, her melanin is flawless. I mean, the sun burn amongst her skin is just beautiful. Uh, you can actually see her when the sun sets. Uh, it's like sunburn, sun ash, a phoenix that rose from the ashes, right? Her name is fucking Summer. No, not Summer Walker. Uh, her name is fucking, um, oh man, what is her name? I think you did an interview with her so many years ago. I think you have been following her because you noticed her because you like music. And she plays the guitar very, 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 very fucking well. Right now, she's on tour right now. Uh, what is her name? What is her name? Well, it'll come to me later. But everybody out here in Venice pretty much knows her. Because she goes, she, she used to be at that end, at that end of Venice, uh, on the boardwalk. But uh, she hasn't been around for a while. She's been making fuku cash, and I'm so proud of her. Shout out. So, back to what I was saying. Uh, shout out to Yeezy, by the way. Uh, here's the thing about Kanye, right? Uh, people think uh, Kanye is crazy. But Kanye is a fucking genius. People thought the person that made the plane was crazy. The person who made the plane was fucking genius. That's why we all like to play and find the A1 first class. If you think about first class, everybody wants to be first class. But I enjoy being in the back seat. See, here's the thing about the back seat. People all want to know if black people had a problem with back in slavery talking about getting in the back of the bus. Nah, oh, nigga, we still out on them thinking we don't give a fuck about getting in the back of the bus. You know what's so crazy? Even today, if you see a black person giving a bus, she's already going to the back of the fucking bus. Why are we going to the back of the bus? Here's the thing about the back of the bus. When you're at the back of the bus, you can see everything in the front of the bus. You can see everything that comes in. You can observe everything and everybody. If someone was to come in the back of the fucking bus like they did on 9-11, best believe there was some black people back there, none of that shit would have went down. I swear to God, for Christ himself, is Yahweh came down here and was here at the moment, at the time that the fucking 9-11 flights took off in the sky? Do you know? If I would have saw a guy come out a fucking knife, a fucking blade, my God. Everything in me would have took 
all of me to get all of me of seven different versions of me off his motherfucking ass. I mean, I would have been so far off his motherfucking ass, he would have felt me in his fucking intestines. I would have been so far in his motherfucking intestines, he would have felt me come out of his motherfucking throat. Let me tell you, I would have been so far in his motherfucking ass. His mother, his daddy would have felt me in his ball sack before he nutted in the vagina and created this fucking prick who decided to do that bullshit. So 9-11 is a fucking conspiracy. Not only is it a conspiracy, the day 9-11 happened, my son was born. So death becomes life. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that 9 11 happened. It was a fucking thing for us to wake up. Everybody didn't pay attention. We're so busy mourning, and we mourn every year on 9 11 about the passing of the people that died and those who did survive, which nobody survived. All the people who survived are the spirits that still left wandering around New York City, wondering why we still haven't figured out the situation over to what happened on those flights. I can tell you what happened on those flights. What happened is this. And if anything ever happens to me after this video, then you'll know that I figured it out. What happened on the flight was this. There was no fucking Abib Shahib Sarah that did that. It wasn't, okay? And it didn't do it with fucking little knives like that, okay? It's not what happened, okay? At all, okay? Uh, most of those people on that flight, I guarantee you someone in their family got paid. If it's not one person involved, there's many people, there's many aspects involved in that situation. All right, you mean to tell me, on a fucking flight that has so many motherfucking people, you tell me two people were <laughs> got into the cockpit and fucking drove into a motherfucking fucking a building? Seriously? Hey, hey, it's not possible. It's not possible at all in no kind of concept or fucking one? fashion. Nothing, in no fucking fashion is it possible that that could have ever happened. The whole plane could have jumped these motherfuckers. The whole plane. The whole, listen, if that was a black plane, a soul plane, do you, let me tell you something, and I motherfucker heard that bullshit, let me tell you, the whole plane would have jumped up on Dr. this motherfucker. There wouldn't have been no way possible hell. Listen, I would have got my throat slit. I listen, if my throat was slit, I still would have killed that motherfucker before I completely passed out. Yeah, he, he wouldn't have got to that cockpit. So that's not what happened. They're lying to us. They've been lying to us. Just like they lied to us about aliens being here. I'm an alien. I'm a Decepticon. I'm a Transformer. I transform from one thing to another, like from a baby to a grown man, from a baby to an adolescent, to a grown man. But really, I'm still a child. I am. I have seven different personalities. I thought I was still a child. I'm just a child trying to be grown, like we all are. See, if you go back, if we were all you know, would accept the child instinct that's in us, everything will be great. Listen, I read a book, right? It was called, uh, if we could take it back to kindergarten, <laughs> right? And it basically was about, when we're in kindergarten, we're not worried about color, we're not worried about race, we're not worried about what you like or don't like, we really, really don't care, we're really just having fun, we're really just, you know, enjoying life. Yeah, we cry, we fall, but we get back up. Yeah, we fight one another, but guess what, tomorrow we're playing again. Yeah, we keep each other in the sandbox again, yeah, guess what, tomorrow Billy's gonna be my friend again, time is gonna be my friend again. But here's the thing, right? Today we don't do that. Today you get mad at someone, you're mad at them forever. <laughs> Today you say something to somebody as if you'll see them the next day, like tomorrow's promise. What's going on, brother? Hey, that's a new box. Come here, come here real quick. Come here real quick. Yeah. This is a little commercial real quick. Introduce yourself. I'm Adrian. What's up? Okay, this is Adrian. Adrian. Adrian! <laughs> this is Adrian. This is my protege right here. He's a new up-and-coming boxer. We're not going to tell too much information about him because he's still up-and-coming. He's up on the come-up. You see how the, you see that up-and-coming? On the come-up. Exactly. He's on the come-up and he's up-and-coming. Exactly. He's boxing you to see him coming. Right, left, you can see him stunting. God damn, you can see him fumble. Oh, shit, did you see him mumble? What'd he say? What'd he say? Oh, shit, did you see him fumble? He ain't fumble this shit. He ain't about to fumble the bag. He is the bag. This man right here, net worth, is a multi-trillion dollar trillionaire, billionaire, gazillionaire. See, notice, we didn't say gazillionaire, like, we used to say gazillionaire when we was kids. But we took it all the way like this. I'm gonna be a billionaire, trillionaire, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a millionaire, a billionaire, billionaire, a trillionaire, he's all that. His network is on a fucking, listen, it's unreachable, but it's obtainable. And you know why? Because his smiles is infectious. God damn, it's contagious, for real. Cause I just met him walking down the hall, scratching my balls. My dick got long and I would have, uh, you know, I mean, I come a rapper. I'm a capper, I'm a snapper. I'm like enough shit, fiddle flapper. Like, 
like itty bitty spider, run up the water clock. Down came the rain and what he fucking got. Shot in the head and now he's fucking dead, but it's the spider is still bloody red. I mean, I could flip it and dip it and slip it and keep it and lip it and rip it and rip it. I mean, I'm talking about, I could manipulate words, flows, toes, and tic tac toes, and tic tac toes. You know, like skipping down the never hood rainbow. You know, people always talk about the rainbow. I feel like you can do something wrong with that. That's the only community that sticks together. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, God damn, I mean, Karen Bass is all the way. She's really there. I mean, God damn, is she gay? Is she lesbian? Is she homosexual? What did I say? She's an upside down question mark. So, like, what thing? I love Karen Bass. I love Karen Bass because she got plenty of that. Well, guess what? He's an up and coming later. rapper. I mean, he's an up and coming boxer. Yeah. I'm going to see him in the ring and I ain't going to stop him. Hey, guess what, Mike? I'm bringing him with me. All right, Look yeah. at his face. I'm going to holler at you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey so, like I was going to you saying, um, you get whatever you want, bro. It's right there. Fight and look for it. See, that's the thing with people, they always ask questions instead of looking for the answers themselves. Like the Matrix. The Matrix is pretty much this, simply as said, right? Hot Neo, the person behind the camera is Trinity. He's the father, son, and all the spirit, right? I'm nothing without Neo. I'm nothing without Trinity because Trinity and Neo together makes the one. And who's the one? Yahshua, Yahweh. Because before the Y, there was a J. Before the J, there was a Y. You feel me? The black people are the first people who really were aliens from outer space. From the seventh place of the sun, and that's where we'll go when all this is over with. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, in the melting pot of knowledge, and what I'm basically trying to say is this it's raining, it's pouring, but the sun will come out. Have a nice day, and I love you, and I'm out. Peace. Can you give us your Instagram? My Instagram is 7 Dubai S E V E N D U B A double I because together it makes one. And with one, one love, one unit, one people, one race, well, there's no race. I mean, it's just us. And there's no religion. It's just spirit. It's just molecules. It's just science, like Scientology. People have a bad name about Scientology, but Scientology is nothing but the simple facts that we are a biochemical that's floating around the atmosphere, a phenophere, a neophere, or whatever the fuck you fear, but don't fear anything. Don't even fear me. Don't even fear what you see. Because what you see is what you get. And every time you see it, every time you get it, you'll understand and know that together we stand divided. Divided we fall. So we stand together as one people and one human, out of human being human, but just being there for one another. Just being there when we call, when we need. I like, see everything and all the answers has always been within the song, and that's why black music is the most popular because of slavery time. That's how we communicated through music. And the <laughs> was vibration, was vibrato. It was something that was felt. It was something that was triggered by emotion. And to keep it real, everybody should have therapists, and everybody should be taking medication because everybody has PTSD, and everybody has multiple personalities because they transform from one to another. They can be good today, gone tomorrow. They can be here today, gone tomorrow. They can be feeling good, waking good, by the end they feeling bad. And that's because you're feeling all these different personalities and all these transfers and different energies are, are interconnected with one another. That's why we crash into one another. That's exactly why we get mean to one another. We really want to hug one another, but instead of hugging one another, we get mean to one another. We look down on one another. So let me tell you one last thing, and this is one last thing before I go. This is going to separate two truth right away. There's no such thing as color, clearly, right? The only color that exists is really black, right? Because, let me explain why, everything comes from black. If you plant, if you plant your grass in the yard, where the color is black, it's mud, right? If you plant seeds, right? We are the seeds. We're the seeds. We're the black, the mud, the dirt, the seed, the manure, the shit that's stank. But it works. Because if you smell something, and that's because I'm a shit. Yeah, the shit that's in the mud, the, the shit that decays, and everything that comes from the mud starts from somewhere. That's why when you die, you go weird. <laughs> Back to the dirt. What color is the dirt? Black. And that's why we say black superior everything. That's why we say everything starts from black. It's not that we're trying to say that we're more powerful than you, that we're superior than you. No, we're just saying the simple fact that everything comes from black. It comes from the mud. What color is the sky when it comes to the falls at night? Black. What color is your coffee? Black. A lot of white people like the coffee black because white people are black people. They're really us, a lighter, lighter skinned version of us because they're the light and we're the night. When the sun rises, they're the day and we're the dark. And it gets so, 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 so fucking dark. I mean, when you can't fucking see, what do you do? You spark a fucking light, right? And so we light it up. 
We light a match. You light it up. You flame on like bloods. I love bloods. I love my bloods. You know what? Tell you why? Because they're dogs. And I'm a motherfucking dog. You know, dogs are dogs are the fucking wonders of the world. They're like the motherfucking babies of the earth. They're the loyal members. They're the true loyal members of the tribe. Okay, in Zion, you know, or whatever place you want to call the happy place that you love to go to see. You close your eyes at night. Right, that place, Wakanda. That's why I like to call my place. I remember when I was about to do this, they said Wakanda is real. Wakanda is very real because everything starts all with a thought. Everything starts all with a thought. And from a then it turns into an actual place. It's called manifestation. So read this book called The Secret. It's the art of manifestation. And it's very true, it's very fact. My man Steve Harvey was talking about it the other day on the radio. He said, the fact is this. In order to get whatever it is you want in life, you have to say it. You have to speak it. You have to say it out loud. You have to continue to say it. And it will happen. Like this conversation is happening. Like everything in my life is happening when it's happened for a reason. From the time I was born. Right? From the time I was born, check this out. Everything I've done in my life led me to this moment right now, which I'm talking to this brilliant. I mean, I'm talking about telling John Hitchcock, fucking The Shining. Beyond that. Are we going to say The Shining? Because he's shining right now. He feels horror. He senses horror. And he's loving what he's getting right now. Because if he didn't, he would have got up and left. And when I told him I had a story to tell him, I told him I had a journey to tell. I told him I had somewhere I wanted to take him and bring him here and bring him back. It's all going to make sense. It's always been sense. But I don't have to completely tell you how it makes sense because he understands how it makes sense. So the full capacity is why do you think he's so famous? He's been rolling around this boardwalk looking for someone like me to spark him, to light a match, and then wake him pull up. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Because this is the place where I live, this is the place where I die. And I'm going to go to the other minutes too. But this is going to always be in my heart, this is going to always be in my mind. The place where I will go is. 70 mile. That's S E V number seven. E N D U D A I I. Why? Because there's no one and I. There's two eyes. There's two eyes in the middle. There's two eyes where I'm really in. There's two eyes that I really see. There's two eyes that really want to be. There's two eyes to be. And the last year I'm going to drop. And I'm ready for that. Why do you think you have two eyes? to watch more, speak less, right? And I talk a motherfucking lot. But as long as you're talking about something that's worth listening to, I'll listen, right? But if you're talking about something worth listening to, you're going to have to, you know, then I'm just going to let you, like, let you smile. I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm, I'm going to take in a little bit of what you're saying, because look, between every line, there's a little bit of truth to it. And what I'm saying is, everything I'm saying, I'm going to say true. I'm going to be better, and I stand up in every way on two toes. Two feet here with his broken right now, and I'm still here. You know what's so crazy? I'm fucking around, twisting both my ankles on the skateboard. When I back when I was fucking on the top of the floor, walking around on the mushroom, and the acid, and I was just fucking on there. And I had the fucking audacity to go on the skateboard with a big ass speaker in my hand, a bottle of liquor in my other hand, a fucking new ports in my mouth, new ports in my back pocket, going south, and I don't know if I'm gonna make it or flop it. Like, I went over there, and I swear I just hit a bump. I went up in the air, and goddamn, I went thump. My ankles started hurting, and I almost went berserk. And, but my girl was walking down the time, and she almost went berserk. And she was there, and she was like, baby, are you okay? I was like, no. Call the fucking 911. But I was laughing like a joker, like, <laughs> I can't believe this shit. I just broke my fucking ankle, bro. I mean, my shit was like twisted. I mean, my shit was like flipped. It was like literally pointed the opposite direction than where I was supposed to. And I was like, oh shit, damn, what I'm gonna do? Am I gonna ever walk? Am I gonna ever be the true? Am I ever gonna be able to kick flip grind or fucking kick push and do whatever the fuck I do? You know what I mean? I didn't even know how I was gonna get it done. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna ever have fun anymore. I didn't know who was gonna play basketball anymore. That shit felt like the bottom, bro. That shit fucking hurt because I had to sit down for like a year. I didn't even know what the fuck to do. Like, what? They just brought me back. Now I can run, hop, step. I can duck on you, get, I can fucking flip, kick, flip, I can fucking kick, push, kick, all that shit. Like, damn, bro, like, it's crazy how the Lord works. It's crazy how you can go from one to the next. It's crazy how it was raining and that was hot. It's crazy how the sun's going to come out. And that was the fuck. It's crazy how me talking is kind of like making it get hot and making it warm up. I'm you and you're not. It's just crazy how just connect the dots. It's just crazy how it just, I don't know, man. It's a plot. I mean, it's crazy how I'm going to be caught there with a fentanyl. It's crazy how 
people who don't really see it, y'all. It's crazy how, like, the third eye is really open. It's crazy how, like, people still just be you know, open. Like, cops just really be poking at me. I mean, it's because I'm a big black man. I mean, with the basic dope on me. I mean, I know I'm dope. I mean, goddamn. I mean, just say it. I mean, because I'm black and I'm proud. Goddamn, they just play it. I mean, I'm black and I'm proud. Goddamn, I'm Jay Brown. I mean, I'm black and I'm proud. Now, look at me now. Look at me now, huh? You're getting paper. Look at me now, huh? Look at me now. Question mm-hmm. of the motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, I can really spit a lot of bars, but it's like, or if you need to spit bars, I need to see bars like gold bars. And like, here's the thing I want to do with the money. Man. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to buy a I'm, I'm going to buy a Venice. All of Venice. Because I don't like how they're doing Venice. I don't like how they're trying to do the Venice. I don't like how they're trying to do the Venice. But everybody comes to Venice to see Venice. You know what Venice is? It's World War Everything in World War is Venice. That's what people really come to see. They want to see the circus. That's what it is. I got a circus. It is. But it's a beautiful circus. It's poetic. And just respect it. Don't eliminate it. Just appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, yeah, I, that's, that's, the only way I that's the only way I'm going to have to. Motherfucking uh, take care of Venice. It's about buying things. Buying everything. Buying all the properties. Buying everybody out. Just do it how we want to do it without having the government or anybody tell us how to do it. I mean, have so much money to where we can move things because money is power. I don't want jewels and gems, because the jewels and gems are, like this man keeps saying, he need to stop. I mean, because, let's keep it real. If I had all the money in the world, then I could save all the people in the world, right? Because if all the people in the world would die, all the money in the world can, you know, buy them all over again. Like, like if this something happens to this man right here, it's funeral, something happens to that man, guess what? All money in the world can buy again. So what's what's its worth? What's its real value? What's its net worth? Everything, all things. Just like all your viewers is watching me right now. Like, what's your net worth? What is your value? What's the value of the person you're with right now? Are they worth everything? Are they worth all things? Because if they're not, then why are you with them? And I'm just leaving like that. So you guys have a great day. Love each other. Hug someone. Hug a random stranger just for no reason. Like I'm a hugging guy that's holding his family right now. I'm a hugging. I mean, just like a hugging man behind me, hugging him too. Now, my voice is getting deep like DLX right now. So I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and just pray for y'all right now. All right, so there's nothing going to do with it. Lord, forgive us for those who not know. <laughs> but keep on feeling. And this is going flat for sure. Double diamond, triple diamond. I mean, got that. I don't know. When they watch it, when they push light, who, who knows? But for sure, I know, y'all think I went away. But I'm back, I'm the dog, and I'm here, to say. Both forgive, both forgive, both forgive me, and I know. Mm. I have a great fucking day, for the dog said so. DMX, Rough Riders, Swiss Beats, I had it. Jada, what's up, nigga? You know, you get at it. All those who thought I didn't like you, it was all good. But your boy the dog went out like a G, as he should. And I'm still remember the game. I was like, oh, can, ah, I let you hear me. I'm still here, DMX. The dog, shh, whisper. I see me. I'm still buns. Belly. Yeah, nigga. I'm ready. Charlie Brown. That's how I get down. Keep the gun steady. When the shit's smoking, lights out. It's all over. My eyes closed. Yeah. Lord, please forgive me. I'm coming to heaven. Open up the door. All right. I'm out. I'm west. Now you know. I'm peace. I'm chill. I'm quiet. I gotta go. Hey, shout out to Denzel Washington. Hey, man, you a real, real, real guy. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. Hey, hey, man, for real, worldwide. Hey, man, I remember when it was me and Jamie and Tracy Martin who was chilling in the Hollywood one time. Jamie Foxx came in with a bunch of Asian girls, a bunch of white girls, you know, he loved the white girls, right? He come in and say, is this where all the corner niggas at? He was getting shit. That shit was the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. This nigga walked in and said, is this where all the corner, the corner niggas at? And me and Tracy were sitting there looking like this motherfucker. Listen, Tracy Morgan is so cool as hell, man. Listen, that motherfucker nigga is a cool ass dude. Listen, 
Pretty much didn't even know me from a can of bacon. I'm sitting there just chilling with him, like, what the fuck you think? Right? And he had no problems with that at all. Because he felt my vibe and I was cool. That was all, right? Jamie was just a cocky son of a motherfucker. He's a cocky motherfucker, right? But I like him. I really like him. I like him. I like all the things he's done, all the things he did, all the things he's done in I like the commercial he did with glasses too. Right? Uh, so shout out to Jamie, shout out to Yay, shout out to Tristan Bourne, and shout out to, uh, oh my God, Sandra Bullock. <laughs> shout out to Sandra Bullock, y'all. Sandra Bullock is, because if Sandra Bullock gets to watch this, or not that I want to meet her, like, ASAP, like, a week. It's like, she's like one of the most amazing, phenomenal actresses I've ever seen in my life. And the list goes on, but she's like the number one on my list right now. Sandra Bullock, oh my God, and Angela Jolie too. Yeah, and, uh, motherfucking Leonardo DiCaprio too. I'm a star guy too. I had Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. I had the pleasure of being Al Pacino on the set of, um, on the set of um, Adam Sandler on the set of, um, what was that fucking show? Um, where he played two different people, fucking Jack and Jill. I had the pleasure of being Al Pacino. He was a solid person. Jordan Sparks met her too. Shout out to Jordan too. Um, who else? Um, damn. Fuck. This goes. Oh, shout out to that big fat motherfucker from 8 Mile. Oh, he gets his hair clothed here on Crazy Show. That motherfucker's a cool bastard. Shout out to him too. Shout out to Fat Joe because he shows us love when you're in LA. Uh, he, uh, I ain't seen him in a while. But I've been tagging his ass on my Instagram. He's a motherfucker that had nerve not to respond yet. But, you know, we'll get to that on Drink Chef, motherfucker. Shout out to Noriega too because I like him too. I like the respect that he's been doing. Uh, he needs to have more uh, people uh, that talk about politics on his show. I would appreciate if you got that. I think you can reach a lot of people. Start talking about politics. Like right now is the time to start talking about this shit. It's like ASAP. And uh, last but not least, uh, buy all the water you can, because that's gonna be the first thing that they uh, they, uh, they fuck with is the water system. Buy water supply uh, when it starts uh, you know, going left, like just so uh, high water. Go uh, on with pH you need to eighty-eight percent. For some reason, that that works. Uh, it's, it's by glacier. I think. Core water is really good. Shout out to Core. Core water. I fucking love that fucking water. I don't know what the fuck it does with the core. I mean, literally, it's core. Like, when I fucking drink it, it's like an ice glacier you want down my fucking throat. It's like, what the fuck? Like, iceberg slum to this shit. Uh, which, that's my old ego, also. And shout out to Fillmore Slum. Right now, by the way. Um, shout out to all the Max. Shout out to Snoop Dogg with the new death row shit. I really like the shit you doing there. Shout out to you before, that's my guy. What am I missing? Shout out to Chris Rock. That's my guy. He's doing his main thing. He's, he's, shout out to Will, too. Um, you know, it's unfortunate the things that he's going through. Uh, I think that's all a plot twist, really. Twist the black man. Because I'm going to go from popular to doing some weird shit like that. That's not even Will. Like, that's not even his pick. You had to make a shit like that. Unless he was just high. Unless that nigga was high. Unless he like, really can manipulate a nigga like that. Nigga, that bad. I mean, come on, Jay. You're just a joke. Come on, seriously. You guys in the fucking front row. What do you think? What do you think gonna happen? You don't think you're gonna get touched? Come on, man. You gonna get ate up? I always say some hard motherfucking ball head ass too. You know she's beautiful as fuck. I always say some hard ball head ass too. Because when she balls, her ears be popping out like a motherfucker. You feel me? But hey, she's Jada. You feel me? And you know, Tupac loves her. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, so we get in Tupac is talking about Jada her hair too. Come on, man. Jada, stop playing. This just ain't going through things. You know, mental health is, is something to deal with. And that's what the red table talks about. It's really for her. <laughs> it's really to take real tip talk. It's really for her mind. It's not really for the guests, but you know, the guests go ahead and get what they can get from it as well. But I'm going to come up with a call the Blue Table Talk. It's going to be, you know, like, really, like, bloods and crips. I'm actually going to call it the Blue Table Talk. They'll, they'll see that shit, copyright that shit. Um, and I'm going to have guests over here, you know, talking about shit. I mean, this is the red pill of Oop Hill. Oops, the Matrix. See, you see how it all comes back to one. Oops, there again, Leo. See, see how it all goes back to the Trinity. Like the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, like my dice has three or something like that. Oops, there's another gem. So just connect the dots. Oops, because when you connect the dots, you get a what? A pyramid. <sighs> what's on the, what's the pyramid? It's on the back of what? The dollar bill. Oh my God. What's on the back of the dollar bill? The eye of Horus. What's on the back of the dollar bill? A pyramid. Who built the pyramid? The black people. Who are black people? Egyptians. <laughs> just connect the fucking dots. You want to sign out? And the battery's going dead. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm yeah. I'll sign it off. West Side, you know what it is. And um, blessing, blessing, peaces, <laughs> blessing, peaces, <laughs> peace and blessings. Namaste. All right, I'm done.